Hey there, thank you for watching this clip on solving trig equations. We were asked to solve for the interval 0 to 2 pi. Let's get started. On the first one, what we needed to know is that sine 2x is 2 sine x times cosine x plus cosine x equal to 0. And then here, factoring it out, we have 2 sine x plus 1 equal to 0. Okay, and then we're going to use product uh, property of 0 equal to 0. And then let's draw the cosine curve. This is 2 pi. We're asked to solve from 0 to 2 pi. So here's 1, here's 1. And then x is equal to pi over 2. x also equal to, this is where pi is, so 3 pi over 2. And then we're done. And then for this half, we have 2 sine x plus 1 equal to 0, which means sine x equal to minus half. Okay. This is a little bit involved, but not too bad. Here's our sine curve. Sine curve starts at 0 and bounded by plus minus 1. So for half, minus half, I'm going to draw a line over here. And here's one angle, here's the second angle. And for solving this type of problem, it's really handy to know that reference angle is pi over 4 when we're looking for a sine of angle equal to half. Okay, How we're going to use this reference angle is here. This is pi. It's pi over 4 distance away. It's our theta 1. And then here's 2 pi. And then pi over 4 distance away is our theta 2. Okay. So theta 1 is equal to pi plus or my reference angle. Theta 2 is 2 pi minus my reference angle. Okay, this makes sense because on the unit circle, your reference angle is always measured from x-axis. That's why 2 pi is over here. I'm measuring this way. And then the pi added to this one. It's this one. So I'm always starting from pi and 2 pi to combine that with my reference angle to find out what the solution is. So my theta 1 is equal to 5 pi over 4, and my theta 2 is equal to 7 pi over 4. So that's the solutions. Now let's go on to the next one. Next one is a little more involved, but not too bad. Equal to minus half. Okay, we're going to call this one as a theta. Let's draw this one. Now, the reason this one is a little more involved is this. The fact that you have a 3x complicates things a little bit. So the, here's my minus half. Okay. In the first quadrant for the theta, I have two numbers, which I know pretty easy. This is pi. This is 2 pi. However, because the 3x, okay, um, let's draw the first quadrant here. You'll see why it's a little more complicated. I have 3x equal to this one. Well, earlier we found it's pi over 4 reference away. So it's pi plus pi over 4. Okay, so 3x is equal to 5 pi over 4 for one of them. That's the theta 1 here. Okay, then x is equal to 5 pi over 12. Because this 3 here, I'm dividing uh, by 3, so it's 5 pi over 12. That actually pushes me to another set, another cycle of this uh, sine angle. That's what makes it a little more tedious to do. So on the test, be careful. If you have a 3 here, you do have to draw one more uh, 2 pi over here. So actually, I'm going to go to 4 pi. This is my 3 pi, pi over 4. Okay, so this is theta 3, and I do have a theta 4. Let's take a look at theta 2 here, which is pi over 4 inside. So 3x is equal to 2 pi minus pi over 4. This is my theta 2. Okay, so 3x is equal to 7 pi over 4. x is equal to 7 pi over 12. Okay, so this is within the 0 to pi. Now from 0 to 2 pi is what I was asked to do, 0 to 2 pi. So I do have to go all the way to next cycle of the sine x. So over here I have a 3x is equal to uh, 3 pi minus pi over 4. 
So 3x is equal to 4 over here. That's 11 pi. So x is equal to 11 pi, 11 pi over 12. So that's one, one more solution there. Okay, one more over here. I have a 3x is equal to 4 pi minus pi over 4. So 3x is equal to 15 pi over 4. Okay. Running out of room here. x is equal to 15 pi over 12. Okay. Now, you might be wondering, well, is that it? Do I have more? You can do one more. You'll see that it's going to be outside of 0 to 2 pi as what we asked. So, for example, next one is 3 pi is uh, 3x equal to uh, 5 pi minus 4. And this equal to 4, that's 19 pi. Okay. It's equal to 12 over uh, 19 pi here. Well, actually, that's that's still a solution. Okay, next one over, I have 3x equal to 6 pi minus pi over 4. It's really squeezing over here. I hope you can still see it. Uh, x, 3x is equal to 4, 23 pi. Okay, I think that's the last one. So it's 12, 23 pi. So I actually have four solutions. I, I actually have to go to three period. Um, one, one, first period I have two, second one is here, third one is here. That's all because the requirements that x has to be between 0 to 2 pi. As you can see, my last solution here is 23 pi over 12. So that's just under 2 pi. All right. So this is how we handle solving trig equations. And this one is a very typical exam question. So it's a good thing to learn how to solve this one. Hope it's clear. Please comment on YouTube and let me know if it helped you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel, inviting you to subscribe. Together, we can make math easy. Till next time, have a confident day.